Hello, today I'm going to show you how I make my videos, starting from making clips, to collecting clips, to editing them together into the final product. First off, um, this is obviously going to be way shorter than it is normally. It takes several hours normally to edit alone, and it takes the whole week to gather clips just because some of these videos are really long and complicated. First, the easiest step, an invisible player model. Now this is really easy, and how I do it is essentially this. Um, I take a player model, in this case it is the player model Beef, which was I think released on JK Hub, and if we go to models, players, and then we go to Beef, there w well there would be like eyes, head, you know, either JPEG or other files that would be what the player default would, like, where it gets from, like Torso Django, uh, Mando Hands. You delete those, and because Jedi Academy doesn't have a model to pull from, rather uniquely I found, as opposed to like Source Filmmaker or whatever, instead of having a blank texture that is, you know, it's showing that it lacks a texture, it just doesn't show anything, which is fantastic for me. But basically, um, there's the first part, and then we're going to make a scene. So. And the good thing about having a player model and having no player model is that I can put myself in a scene and it will be will be completely invisible. So first off we want to turn off console text and freeze NPCs. And let's 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 do a classic. Let's 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 do Dash Rendar. Now I have tons of player models. Obviously all of these won't be found. You probably won't have Dash Rendar unless you found a model and then gave it an NPC, which you can do in my other tutorials, but, um, let's do this, um, let's, uh, There's a Skywalker on site and ready to assist. Also, I do not have music or voice enabled, because there's a lot of things, a lot of, like, actions that my, that I have characters do, that if they did them, they would say a voice line and that would ruin the shot. It would ruin it. So, let's, um, Let's do a little bit of this. This is a this is a classic shot, you know, the kind of perspective. It's like something like that. Now, um, because I'm invisible, that means I can put my camera anywhere, and sometimes I like to have it that no target. Um, a cool thing. Basically, the way that NPC controlling works, as long as you click on a target, they will do an action. Okay, easy stuff. Now, something cool. You you can control NPCs like this. You go to control. Oops. Come on. Control. Z9. Say I want to have this guy do an action, but I want Anakin to. I want to be able to control Anakin and have him do things like hunt or move or something. See what I do is I put my crosshair and then whoops <laughs> whoops turn turn that turn that off. I accidentally threw my lightsaber. Let's get put that away. You can also put away the lightsaber to get rid of it. Um what you do is you click control NPC and then like the five seconds that it takes for you to get to the NPC, you put your mouse cursor on the other one. And now you can so like this would take multiple shots. So I would, so like, also oh, you can't do that, you can't, you can't have, you can't freeze on horizontal, it just makes it slow down. So like say, I, I would have him walk up, and then if I wanted to keep the shot, I would like reset it so that he goes back into normal, or I click that so that he goes into different, one thing to that. A lot of cool tricks you can do. Another trick I do a lot. Basically, I want to do that if I want to have multiple characters doing something interesting in a shot. If they're all static, it feels weird, and I try to do that as little as possible. Uh, also, I have a bind that I can unfreeze and freeze NPCs at will. You can see them jittering around, it's coming to them to unfreeze and freeze at will. I also have a button for NPC, or for no target, just in case I am dealing with enemy NPCs that I want to follow me, or just not see me. Now, um... Two ways I like to have people walk off screen. One, I do a little bit of this action where I basically set it in a way that 
it's close enough that see they walk off screen except that one's a little bit uh, I don't like that one so much because they only walk a few short feet and then stop I remember beef turned him into my player model but he's still an NPC Beef is also, it was a bootleg Boba Fett toy that someone made. Um, you control that, and then, because he's invisible, also might make it so that he shoots. No target. And, um, control that so that he's right there, and then, while he is looking, I can do the same thing, like normal. And they walk for a bit longer. And so I'm not restricted to my use of the camera. This is the thing. The camera only extends to so far. It doesn't go infinitely. So I have to figure out tricks in order to make it so that the NPCs do what I want it to do. Um, what are some other things I can uh, show off? Uh, can't really think of any right now. I may make a follow-up on this video. This is just an outline, and those are some tricks that I use. Basically... I use OBS to record. Um, you will see a bit of a freaky effect, I believe. Yeah, I use OBS to record. Um, right now it's recording just the entire display, but um, it can record shadows of the Empire, movie duels, Empire War Battle 2, etc. etc. Et um, now that we're done with that, uh, we're just going to close out of movie duels, and I'm going to show you basically how I do. Okay, um, this. Is the this is this video being recorded right now? Um, I'm going to show you how I do um, uh, the actual editing process. These are clips from the video that I'm going to either upload this weekend or if you're watching it last weekend. I don't know. Project. Let's just do a new project. Why don't we? Uh, test. Probably already have test. Yes, overwrite test because I already did that before. Now, um, I'm not gonna go into the entirety, the entire process of like what of how Adobe Premiere works. Basically, just get a set and get a sequence, uh, whatever one that one that fits the type of file that you have, 60 frames a second, whatever. And basically, um. What I do is, let's let's start off with some basic clips, and first off, um, say I want to do like, oh, ha, ha. first I make sure that if there's sound that I put a constant gain so that it doesn't just pop in, you click the video, the sound is just instant, I want it to gradually come in because it sounds a bit nicer that way. Um, double dissolve so that, you know, it, dissolves in the frame. I can extend it if I just want it. Uh -huh. So I can have that and basically another thing is that popping occurs if there are two audio tracks and they play one and then immediately the other. It pops. So something I do is I do a little bit of this, make sure those arrows are gone, and then I add a crossfade or add a constant gain. And now there shouldn't be any popping. Um, how I record, I wonder if I can do it while recording. Um, uh, so, usually I turn my volume off for this to, so that I can hear it, but um, so that so while I'm talking, talking, talking like this, this I, can, I can, you know, you know I can record, I can record, record voice, voice lines, do whatever, do whatever and, then, and then stop, and I can see that I did that. Um, I to my own voice, uh, and it also does not help. Now, how I usually do things is I pitch, them. for example, Dash Rendar, uh, Luke Skywalker, all the same. Um, I have an entire list of pitch shifted audio for myself and for any other people that might voice people. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I, I need, I need to change the sound. Some of the voices are distinctly deeper or greater, earlier, etc. So um, for that one, you could do Cade Skywalker. That that is for pitch shifter. So that would be where is Cade? Minus two. 
Wait. So that would be that, and then I have high precision. And then base, so that would be... Well, that's actually his, and it'll probably be more like Cade. I mean, granted, I think I gave him a sort of nasally infliction to go with the um, deep audio to kind of just make it sort of jarring and unique. But um, it'll probably this will probably sound a lot like what Cade sounded like in the video I just did. But while I'm talking like this, I can you know, I can record voice lines and do whatever, and then yeah, see, yeah, it sounds quite similar. Um. Another thing I can do, uh, Lebo's voice is also different because that one I don't change the pitch at all. I just change the effect. So if I so do if this, I do this, speak, speak as, as Lebo, as Lebo and, and just just you know you don't know, do don't anything do anything different. different. Which by the way, Lebo's voice in my videos is literally just me. Don't change anything about it. It's analog delay. Start off with a robot voice. Hollow parameters. So it'll be so many of these. I uh, sixty-three, thirty-nine, eighteen, and fourteen. And this would probably sound. This would sound exactly like Lebo. Ah, okay. what? What'd I do? <laughs> Try it again. So if I do this, speak as Lebo, and just, you know, don't do anything different. Yeah, see? Sounds basically identical. But, um, the long and short of it... Oh, also music. I have a ton of music to pull from. Some of it's not even music, some of it is literally just sound effects. So, like, I could put it in Cloud City. A lot of the sound effects do come from my music folder, but I also pull some from Jedi Academy because they have tons of those. So, oh wait, whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, effects. Flyby? Is there a flyby sound effect? Come on. Sets. Vehicles. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes they don't work, but, yeah. Look, this is a good example of a bare-bones scene with stuff going on in it. Yeah, obviously I turned down the volume a bit. There's a lot of tweaking, like I would turn the game down by like four, would, you know, make that a little quieter. I generally tend to, with talking scenes, do, do a little bit of this. So like, say there's... I'm talking, I'm talking right, now, right now, and, and it's, it's like, like, like this, this is a whole time. time. Now what I would do is I would use this tool, snip these parts right here, use a constant gain, then I would do that. I'm talking right now, and it's like, this is a whole talking scene. That way the music is lowered so that you can hear me talk, and then raised so that you can hear the rest of the music. I'm a big fan of music being one of the major contributors of a scene, because I know I'm not going to probably instill a lot of the emotion that a scene is going to give, and if I can, well, <laughs> mission accomplished. The music is always going to be helpful, especially for Star Wars, because it's so important. Granted, a lot of my music isn't from Star Wars because I like being a bit unique like that. But that's about all there is. Um, and then we would we would export media, and then I usually do go all the way down. Basically, the preset that I do is YouTube 4K. Granted, you don't have to do 4K. I just do it because I like to be extra. But you do not have to be. You do not have to do 4K. Um, 
and then export. My computer is pretty good. It can do you can do videos pretty quickly. In fact, I think this this video will export exponentially fast because it's only like six minutes of audio mostly. But I won't clog it up with that. Uh, it would save changes. And that's about all there is to it. I mean, granted, all of this is so much longer. There's so much more to it. Um, not just, not even just including other games. I may do another video on this. But um, for now, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, ask in the description. Or ask in the description. Ask in the comments. And I will give as best answers as I can. But uh, that's about it, really. Uh, like I said, have any questions, put them down below. I will see you guys next time in a weekend sometime soon. See ya.